The police say three of the attacks were carried out in Sterling District, with the first shooting taking place around 8.15 a.m. 24-year-old Odain Drummond was shot dead during a drive-by while three others were injured. In another incident, six persons were reportedly inside a bar along a road in Grange Hill when four gunmen exited a car and entered the premises and opened fire. The gunmen escaped. The victims were rushed to the Savannah Lamar Hospital where 21-year-old Tristan Brown was pronounced dead and the others admitted for treatment. Then, around 11 a.m., unknown assailants killed a construction worker in Porter's Mountain. The bloodletting continued, this time in Lincoln District, in a section of the parish known as Morgan's Bridge, where one person was killed and four were wounded around 6.15 p.m. Meanwhile, gunmen returned to Sterling District about 8.15 p.m. and slaughtered Sheldon Morgan and his two-year-old son. Mr. Morgan's car was also set ablaze. Shortly after, at about 8.20 p.m., 39-year-old Nadine Rao and her 10-year-old son, Nikoi Bourne, were inside their house in Grange Hill when gunmen kicked open their front door and shot both of them in their heads. They were rushed to the hospital where both were pronounced dead. Nadine's brother recounts what happened. We heard some explosion um, about two yards away. And the next five minutes, on my mother's house, I heard some knocking, police, police. And I learned from my mother that uh, my sister came forward and said that I'm not sure if it was a police, so I'm not, I won't open the door. And uh, right about there, they started to kick the door and some loud explosion followed. Um, lately, I, later after, I learned that my sister succumbed to um, some gunshot home and also her son. And yet another attack in Grange Hill as three houses were firebombed in the Fullerfield area. One person has been confirmed dead. The identity is still unknown. It was reported that two other family members are missing. Security forces have heightened their presence in the community. The police has described the incidents as coordinated gang attacks linked to lottery scam. They also believe the killings were the result of an inter-gang feud, which police say has accounted for a large percent of murders, shootings and other violent crimes committed in the parish. Superintendent Gary McKinsey of the Westmoreland Police has strongly condemned the brutal slayings and said no effort would be spared in bringing the ruthless killers to justice. Superintendent McKenzie is appealing to citizens to desist from providing a safe haven for criminals and for Jamaicans to unite and help in the fight against crime. The police are appealing to anyone who may have information about the incidents that can assist with the investigation to contact the Morgan's Bridge Police at 955-1375, Crime Stop at 311 Police 119 emergency number or the nearest police station. I'm Cody Ann Barrett for Frontline News.